what is up you guys it's your special fake i'm mother and i am back okay i am back with another reading today is going to be a collective reading um we're just gonna go ahead and see what comes out we got a lot going on um with all the planetary shifts so i do just want to tap into that energy and kind of like see what's going on and see what messages we get okay so let's go ahead and tap in i'm kind of let y'all see what's going on down here and yeah, let's get into it. Oh. I'm hearing London bridges falling down, falling down, falling down. Some of you guys could have a toddler. Um some of you guys could just be in that toddler energy of like, of like that freedom or that terrible twos, that rebellion, that wanting to be sneaky or wanting to do like, do things, wanting to explore what you can do, explore your hands, explore your, your taste buds, what you could touch and grab and hurry up and get, you know, like they say, ain't nobody's stronger than a two-year-old that done took something that they ain't supposed to have. So, you know, this energy just feels like balancing out your adultness your your adult responsibilities and also just your childlike energy where you're learning to have fun you're learning to explore you're learning to cultivate like fun in anything you know find creativity in anything find something to get into okay so we have the numerous mystery okay and then we also have the trine flow this is kind of giving me like in order for things to flow correctly there needs to be a balancing or there needs to be um some kind of equal give and take some kind of conversation that needs to be had okay um this also feels like just shifts in in social paradigms and social groups and um matriarch situations and patriarch situations in cultures and communities um at work at school um in family dynamics um also political pitfalls this feels like um an evolution of sorts two 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 thank you Santa masters this feels like giving homage to those who have come before you brother this is your ancestors brother this is just people who you know about i'm seeing like the african-american museum or like going to like um the holocaust museum or going to any any kind of museum going even going to you know just places where you, you you've grown up or you went through something tough like going back to what shaped you going back to what molded you and kind of seeing the blessings in that seeing the opportunity in that seeing the mystery and what you didn't know then but you know now that you're aware of so this is like going back to childhood you know like this is that toddler childhood energy like how far back do you remember what do you remember what were some gems about your life what are some good things that you remember how what are some things that your parents taught you did you have your parents what are you grateful for what were you grateful for how how did things change when did you notice a shift you know this is like because it feels like such a, a mental emotional spiritual war type shift is about to happen this is causing a war within yourself this is called this is like god calling all the warriors or you know the soldiers to like get right within get right with the lord so that it's like okay when it's time i need my soldiers to be prepared this was what's the song called dun, 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 deep in the water and we have two three seconds from sunday <laughs> I think I'm singing two different songs. Like, I'm also singing the Jonas Brothers or something like that. I don't know. Craft. Outlook. This is like having the keys to success or having the keys to some kind of ancestor glory. Having the keys to a wardrobe. I'm hearing, like, um, I saw something on TikTok where, like, a girl had murdered her parents. This is like walking past the, most pe the people who look the most mundane. The people who just look like they just a regular normal person like they don't got nothing going on and not knowing that like people are struggling people are suicidal people are murderers people have negative thoughts like there are so many things that we don't necessarily pay attention to because of social media because of the influx of energy or you know like instant communication instant this we don't 
take the time out to think about things, to process things, whether that be our emotions, the smells, if we can smell a storm coming, what do we, like, our senses, our instincts, like, the thing that made us human beings, like, animalistic, you know, like, there, there needs to be a balance between our social media intake versus our meditation, you know, like, this season is calling for us to be so in tune with our word, like our Lord, or, you know, whatever, whatever you believe in spiritually, your orishas, and, you know, like, this feels like being educated, like, not just intuitively, but, like, going to search for those answers, like, tapping into your Akashic records, or tapping into your ancestry, your DNA, like, where you come from, knowing about the people who have come before you, the people who, you know, own the house that you live in, like, if those, if that's your grandparents, or, you know, like, getting to know your mother's story, your father's story, where they came from, what they was doing, like, did they love each other when they made you, like, what does that look like? What did your history look like, and how has it made you who you are today? How can you refathom what the the story of your family has been are you proud of your family is, are you a part of a legacy you know is it a good legacy are you um proud of yourself you know like there there feels like there needs to be a direct balance between between knowing when to rest knowing when to give your mind a break i'm here give your heart a break let me give it so you know it's like being in relationships, being in friendships, being, you know, interconnected with your family and spending that quality time. You know, this is a season of holidays coming up. This is a time where a lot of people are depressed. A lot of people don't have family. A lot of people are realizing things that they haven't thought about, um, sexual trauma or um, poverty in the family or anger or abuse within the family. So things come up, but, you know, we, we, we gathered around food, so it's all good, you know? So this is just a heightened time that people may not realize even spiritually with Halloween coming up. Whether you believe in Halloween, whether you believe in um ghosts and spirits and fairies or the mythical creatures and um the esoteric portion of it like um even in i, I believe it's hispanic i'm not 100 percent sure um or mix i don't know so i don't want to speak on it but um de las mortes like you know things like that watching the movie coco like there are traditions where they honor their ancestors you know like even in Ifa religion, like having offerings or, you know, like this feels like getting to know what's unknown, tapping into the unknown. Like, even if you're not into politics, this is doing your research. Even if you're not into Christianity, this is still reading the Bible. Even if you're not into spirituality, this is still maybe doing your research on how yoga is good for your body or even if you're not into herbs or marijuana this is maybe still understanding why people take it or how it's an herb or you know whatever the case may be this is like opening and expanding your mind this is like not just taking trips out the country but this is also like governing like what what are their social norms like how do they treat each other uh, what is the history and the culture of this place that i'm visiting am i going there to turn up or am i going there to sightsee to feel the energy this is going to plantations and you know like going to new england or going to paris and really feeling and harboring the energy of even before that was a country or you know like different things like that is really harnessing the energy that you cannot see like harnessing what is just within you like that intuition that instinct Okay, we got the mountain, like, it's the climb. You know, this life is the climb to heaven or, you know, whatever you believe in. It's like following the leader. At some point, you know, like, whatever you grew up in, like, yes, it, it, it governs who you are, but it's not the final say-so. Even if you grew up good, sometimes you have to bump your head to learn certain lessons. So, this feels like going after your dreams. In this season, this is a revolution. This is not giving up on yourself before you're out of the fight like this is like 
fight until you can't fight no more. This is realizing that that fighting energy, that fire energy, that passion, that that isn't necessarily bad. It's just an opposition. And that's okay. So fights may arise or um, getting into it. But this feels like this is you're on the way to the Golden Palace. Like, you know, like you could have somebody who did recently pass away or, you know, you could have somebody who is really into Islam and um, being in paradise. Like this just feels like getting more enthralled in that religion or wearing your hijab or immersing yourself into the culture. This could be you dating somebody of a different religion or background. Um, I feel like this is also like dressing for the energy that you want to invoke. If you want to, you know, be in a fiery energy, you want to be passionate, maybe wear red. If you want to love on yourself, maybe wear pink. If you want to tap into Oya, maybe wear like dark reds, burnt oranges. You know, if you want to tap into Oshun, yellows, golds, you know, Yimiyas, blues, purples, turquoise. You know, like this feels like truly tapping into what it is that you want to bring into your life. Like, I just want to wear yellow because... I want to be bright. I want to be happy. I want to have joy. I want to love myself. I want to feel free, right? This is that energy. Tapping into that of just like knowing what you want and giving it to yourself. 11-11, okay? This is making a wish and believing that it's going to come true. Believing in what it is that you're manifesting. Or even if it's just you believing in a prayer, having a faith of a mustard seed, that's all God needs from you. Is a That's all. And if you have that, it's like, watch what I can turn that into. I can give you those keys today. To that new business, to that new home, to that new um, that hotel suite, to that resort room, to that cruise ship. Like, I can give you that. You know, this is like coming to life, realizing that, like, dancing and honoring your ancestors, honoring traditions, honoring the moon or honoring the sun, honoring God, praise, praise dancing. If you're religious, like, put it on gospel music. Okay, putting on worship music, putting on something that makes you feel alive, putting on something that makes you want to move your hips, dance, sing, and just, just bring joy into your life. Invoke the spirit of happiness, endorphins, serotonin, like relax your nervous system. Like this is like after the storm has left and the dust is settling and it's just like a calming. And it's just like a relief of just like, okay, we're safe. Like, we made it. You know, like, yes, stuff is still falling. Yes, the aftermath of that is that I'm going to be in debt and things are in ruin and this is messed up and this person could have got hurt and that thing happened and my car is all the way flipped over. Look at the hurricanes, okay? Oya being enraged, you know, like Himiya, this this bolsterous energy of a connectedness and a coming together. And yes, it could look so bad. But also look at the coming together. Look at how community came together. Look at how mothers taught their children to survive. Look at how people were prepared because guess what? We're learning. You know, like this is this is a journey. And this isn't the only world that we're living in. So to open your eyes up to not just being in the matrix or not just being so worldly, not being so immos immersed in the world that you don't know how to be prepared. You can't tell when a storm is coming. You don't know how to prepare for your lights getting cut off or your power being off and not having food and water. Maybe you've, you've been spoiled your whole life, so you never knew what it was like to not have lights. Maybe you mocked your friend in high school who was different than you, who you couldn't never go over her house, but she could always come over yours, but you kept making assumptions about what was going on in her crib. Even if you was right, this feels like, as an adult, you have so much more knowledge. It is time to utilize what you have. It is time to utilize your hurt, your pain, time to transmute that energy. We're going into Scorpio season. Very, very transformative. Okay, this is a time to shed a skin. This is a time to become brand new, to look brand new, to get your skin clear. You know, like this is a time to like really tap into putting on lotion, pampering yourself, honoring yourself, you know, treating yourself in a ritualistic manner. You are your goddess. You are your God, you know, and by you being a reflection of God and showing God like this, I want to serve you in a way where, you know, if you read the Bible, I'm, I'm abiding by the is the Ten Commandments, you know, or, you know, whatever the case is, this is like honoring what you believe 
to be true and what makes you a good person and what makes you prepared, what taps you into your intuition, honoring that in this season and realizing that that is what's going to get you to your field of your dreams. That's what's going to land you exactly where you want to be. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Share it on all your other social medias. And I am out of here, you guys. Peace.